we need to think about what is going to include South Africans in our economic development. And so some of the main areas of work are just measuring our inequality in very textured ways, understanding it very deeply. And so, for example, we've worked with the, the tax data that this policy has made available because it gives you a lens into who benefits and who doesn't benefit from our economic growth. We've learned that the wage distribution in South Africa is alarmingly unequal. So if you're talking about the spread of benefits from all the activities that we do in the economy, it's not really working in a way that's inclusive. We've been able to use the tax data to evaluate some of government's policy interventions. So the employment tax incentive is an incentive that's designed to lower the price of labor and hopefully encourage firms to hire young workers. And we found out that it's hard just lowering the wages in an environment in which economic activity depends on many, many things. And so in a sense, it's quite a daunting lesson. The other work then has, has focused on households themselves and how they survive and understanding their livelihoods very, very well. And so it's painted a picture of snakes and ladders in which it's been tough going over the last five years for South Africans, even South Africans in the so-called middle class. What I've seen from the work that I've done and observing how people move between employment, I saw that people change employment quite rapidly. And I wanted to see whether transport is a reason, part of the reason why people um, churn so much their employment. And then this opportunity of SA Tide came about where we could access the South African Revenue Services database that provides us with information on where people live and where people work, as well as their employment duration. We've seen that predominantly individuals that have traveled to work, if they used train or rail to get to work, they now travel 107 minutes one way per day to get to employment. That's almost two hours one way. Bus commuters now travel 14 minutes longer on average. Minibus taxi users now travel 13 minutes more. People are captive to our public transport. And what we've seen is that because of the high cost of transport, that results in individuals starting to say, well, is it worthwhile for me to actually travel to employment? And we've seen specifically within the low to medium income households or individuals in that labor market churning quite rapidly.